time. Time for the fulfillment of prophecy, much of it. So love from love, hope from hope, peace from our Prince of Peace. And praise the Lord that time to get ahead, a huge jump ahead. Satan's removal, number one. The revelation of the lawless one has come. Revelation of who we are. That all of creation has been growing for the revelation of the sons and daughters. And that revelation has come. The revelation of what is the new name of Israel foretold to happen in the latter days. That has come. And in the latter days, the prophecy has manifested of God giving his kingdom age covenant to all mankind as it is written. I'm not teaching what people have taught. I'm teaching what the Bible says. And it says that Israel would inherit all mankind. That is why they are now Chrislam, Isaiah 62, 2. And that is why we are mantles, is the word that God gave for us. We are divine, angelic beings. We are children of God in every way. We've always been angels in the flesh, and Emmanuel, God with us, came to a world of his angelic creation. That is why we would judge the host before us, because we are also hosts. And that is why the Bible shows multitudes and multitudes of us in the whitest robes because we're all beings of love but we must stir up our love until overflowing so that we commit not blasphemy of the Holy Spirit it's time to get along in the sandbox together so love from love and hope from hope peace from peace mercy from our beloved Lord of mercy faith from faith that is who he is and it's impossible to please the Lord unless we have faith. Because you know what? The secret is that he has always had faith in us. He does not see us as we are. He sees us as we will be once we enter glory. Sinless as the day that we were born. And praise God, he's way ahead of us. He knows our end from the beginning. He is our Ancient of Days, our Alpha and Omega, and He is our Majesty of Majesties, and upon His great white cloud He has sent forth His everlasting gospel, uh, because these are the days of the great refreshing, and it's time that we become like falconers and hold out our hand so that the dove of love will come down as the mighty regal eagle of the eons and alight and sit upon our arm. And we may go forth in battle with a weapon of the word of love and all lovelessness ahead of us. We can have command you me faith and ask the Holy Spirit to go in front of us, fly, be free, rip up all the unloving ways of man in front of us. So know that these are the days of the great refreshing of Acts 3.21, the days of the great restoration. Uh, that must happen or else Christ is kept in reserve in heaven and cannot even return. So these are the days of the restitution of earth. And for that reason it is written that money from all over this world is going to flow in and make this world as it was like Eden, uh, according to the prophet Joel. And so know that this gospel of truth shall now be opened before all seekers of love with an explanation, so they'll read it, uh, and picturesque, picturesquely, so that they'll remember it, clearly it'll come forth, so that they can appreciate it, and above all, accurately, shall it be, so that they can follow the Lord's brightest light of love within it, for there are many kinds of uh, damning darknesses in life, but the dove of love, it's only focused with this word of hope for the kingdom age rising its only focus is the brightest light of light our love of the ages so praise ye the lord god all people of obedience 
for that everlasting Father of lights, our light of lights, our star of stars, the star of Bethlehem. But he alone is the great illuminator within the darkest of all spiritual places where all other lights uh, long ago faded away. Undeserved great reproach has already been cast upon this work uh, of the dove by errors of a few of the uh, Lord's sold out servants. And the bottom line is people are, are not listening. They, they're not hearing what I'm preaching. I, what I am preaching would bring the kingdom age, and people are snubbing this channel. I, I'm preaching to white air, and I, I am undaunted. I am building the mountain of Isaiah 2 and four, Micah 4. This is the latter day mountain where all the shame and guilt of all people of the earth will be removed, uh, saith the Lord God. Isaiah 25, mountain full of delicacies. Who will come and feed the master's household meat? While the master is away, the Lord asked in Matthew 24, and my name is Dan. And so know that religious people who are arrogant, vipers, unloving in their ways, having a form of godliness but denying the power of love, if you're of that crowd, uh, believers like that shall never receive any more guidance from the word of God other than what they have already been holding dear but that which is still under all gross darkness that has covered all mankind. And people will not believe this truth. They think that they're not a, a gross darkness not over them. People, it was over me too. It's been over all mankind. And now the kingdom age arises. If God's word is true, whoever you are, you have been under the gross darkness of the ignorance of love. There is no darker gross darkness than ignorance of love alone. And in spite of the Lord God finally speaking anew because his word was only closed until the time of the end, Christ said in Matthew 24, 22, that unless these days were cut short, no flesh could be saved. People, people, if you got a brain, you're going to realize that there's nothing, absolutely nothing under the heavens that could possibly cut time short except for God's word in motion. Only he could do such a thing. And know that one of Satan's most deceiving devices before his removal in accordance with Daniel 12, 1, was for him to have caused people of truth to have commonly, wantingly, uh, to embrace ignorance and to reject all new sources of his strength. Any new inspiration is not allowed. In spite of the Lord God providing his word that he would send the everlasting gospel, which needed a rider, and the flying scroll needed a rider, Zechariah 5. And line by line, precept by precept, it was promised to come. It needed a rider, Isaiah 28. And the vision was written plainly on the tablets, so those who readeth it may run, but you need a rider. And Moses said, one like him would come forth, a rider, and a king the maid's covenant giver, a rider who would cause uh, the great exodus of the wheats leaving the tares because the wheat and the tares cannot grow together. A writer, God has never done anything unless he has sent forth a writer. Uh, almost 2,000 years have passed since man was promised the future revelation of the everlasting gospel of creation during the last days by John the Revelator. And now has the divine season finally come forth for the manifestation of that prophet prophecy that exalts our Lord God in a way higher than he's ever been exalted at all. Uh, I've got 24 hours of praise, solid praise, from all the religions in the world. And uh, that is, <laughs> I got the passion of Christ at this channel. I've got 48 half hour videos and it's nothing more passionate than this. Uh, so know that he alone is the creator of all that was made as the living word of God uh, that spoke everything imaginable into existence. So the gospel of love that I'm reading was foreseen. And as Revelation 14, 6, verses 6 and 7 clearly predicted, a messenger angel has now brought forth the latter-day everlasting gospel of creation from heaven by his inspiration of love, which consists of the Lord's secrets and high praises 
which is presence and added. It was foretold when the seven trumpets sounded, because the first is last and the last is first, that all nations immediately would become the Lord's, because the mystery of God is over, that he has never been a respecter of people. He loves us all exactly alike. And praise God, nor is there any question about our king being excited to see his following written word of passion now being spread all over the earth, even if people will not look at it. Uh, he's enjoying it. <laughs> I'm saying it like everybody's listening. Nobody is, but he's hearing me. And I'm just another Noah uh, who's building an ark for nobody that wants a ride. I'm a writer who's written 20 years for nobody that wants to hear it. And, uh, but praise God, within a time, times and a half a time, what I have done is going to cause the crumbling of religion on earth as it has been known. And know that it's been uh, the word that I have been preaching and reading, line by line, precept by precept, is also from many ancient and many modern voices. Uh, right now, you got to watch my UFO videos. I'm unfolding UFO prophecy that's valid. You got to hear it. All the mysteries of God are finally over. Revelation 10, 7 foretold that that's what would happen. And in these days, all religion is obsolete on earth, as Hebrews 8 lays out. When you hear those words, I will be your God, you will be my people, Paul wrote that all faith on earth would be obsolete. So know that the everlasting gospel was promised to be preached at the harvest, and I am the harvest bringer. But guess what? The sower of the seed of love is Christ Jesus, Isa Yeshua. Emmanuel, living in majesty of majesties, and he arises as the good shepherd over all the flocks of man, and he has overtaken his reaper because he is the sower of the seeds of love. And know that in Revelation 14:14, 14, 14, John the Revelator beheld a white cloud, and on the white cloud sat one like the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel cried out to the Messiah, Isa Yeshua Jesus, saying that his dove had brought forth the sickle of his spirit, because the time is finally here for him to reap. And for the earth is ripe for the great harvest of love, which shall be most glorious. And praise God, Romans 11, uh, 25, shall become clear. For this holy word brings forth the fullness of the Gentiles, so that Israel is now saved, uh, just as the prophet Paul foretold. And all Israel shall accept the Messiah, because they are now Chrislam, and they have inherited all the Christians and all the Islamists. And when the 144,000 sealed people of Judaism get, a, get their fires lit, by his, the Lord's refiner's fire, through his dove of love and regal eagle of the end. Man, trailblazers are going to tear this earth up. It's an exciting time to be alive. So, till next time, love from love. Keep it real.